Following is another short story by Ablucus the Old. This story's purpose is to demonstrate the meaning of the lessons contained in these two quotes. The first quote, it is a weak person who never forgives, forgiveness is an attribute only of the strong. And the second quote, those who cannot forgive others destroy the bridge over which they themselves must one day pass. And thus, the story begins. Willow Creek was a quiet country town where the streets hummed with the gentle buzz of everyday life. This is where Carly grew up and lived. Carly was a woman whose pride and inability to forgive had shaped much of her life story. Carly had always believed that holding grudges was a way to command respect and ensure that one was never taken for granted. I never forgive, she'd say with a fierce glint in her eye. And I certainly never forget. I can and do hold a grudge for life, she would proudly announce. As if it was some kind of threat that you'd better not upset me or else. This belief she wore like armour, never realising the weight of its chains until it was far too late. Carly's greatest sorrow, however, was not the friends she had lost over the years, or the loneliness that had crept into her life like an unwelcome shadow. It was her estrangement from her daughter, Ellie, the light of her life who had inherited her mother's unforgiving nature. The irony was a bitter pill to swallow. Ellie had cut ties with her mother over an offence so slight that Carly could scarcely remember it, yet it had been enough for Ellie to sever their bond completely. The years rolled by, each as empty as the last, with Carly's attempts at reconciliation met with silence. She watched, heartbroken, as her daughter built a life without her, a life that Carly was not a part of. The pain of this rejection was a constant ache, a reminder of the consequences of her own actions, mirrored in the daughter she loved so dearly. Then came the devastating news that would shatter the fragile world Carly had cocooned herself in. Ellie was dying. A mysterious illness had taken hold, one that, despite the best efforts of the doctors, left little hope. Carly was devastated, not only by the impending loss of her daughter, but by the realisation that they might never mend their fractured relationship. In the sterile quietude of the hospital room where life and death held an uneasy truce, Carly sat by Ellie's side holding her hand, talking to her, hoping for even a flicker of forgiveness. But Ellie, locked in her own battle, never spoke a word, leaving this world without uttering the absolution Carly so desperately sought. It was only in the wake of Ellie's passing that the full weight of her choices came crashing down upon Carly. The realisation of the pain she had inflicted on others by her stubbornness to forgive, mirrored now in the ultimate rejection she faced from her own daughter, was a torment unlike any she had known. Ellie's death became a catalyst for Carly, a painful awakening to the truth that forgiveness was not a weakness but a strength, a necessary grace for healing and moving forward. In her grief, Carly found a resolve she had not known she possessed. She began to reach out, to mend the bridges she had so carelessly burned, to seek forgiveness from those she had wronged, and to offer it in return, even when it was hard. Yet, the one forgiveness she craved the most, that of her daughter Ellie, remained forever out of reach. Carly made it a ritual to visit Ellie's grave, a quiet spot beneath a sprawling oak in Willow Creek Cemetery, where the dappled sunlight played upon the grass. There, in the solitude of her sorrow, Carly would speak to her daughter, sharing her regrets, her hopes and the lessons learned too late. She sought forgiveness, not from Ellie, for she knew that chance had passed, but from herself, and perhaps, in some ethereal way, from the universe that had been witness to her transformation. The story of Carly and Ellie became a whispered caution in Willow Creek, a poignant reminder of the power of forgiveness, and the importance of letting go of grudges before they forge chains too heavy to break. Carly, once proud of her ability to hold a grudge, now championed the cause of forgiveness, living each day in the hope that her change might inspire others to choose a different path, one lit by understanding, compassion, and the strength that comes only from the heart's ability to forgive. Salsac. Share and like. Subscribe and comment.